Booyah. Hey everyone, my name's Johnny, I'm the community manager at Industrial Toys. Hey, I'm Travis, I'm a game designer here. And what we are um, designers and community managers of is a game called Midnight Star. Um, it's, a, it's a shooter for mobile devices that we kind of built up from, uh, from the ground up for touch. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got this rig here to kind of show you, let me get this thing out of the way, uh, show you the gameplay, show you how we're interacting with the gameplay, and then our faces for awesome commentary and silly jokes. And so what we're going to do is continue what Travis and I have been doing, which is we started a fresh account, um, and we're just kind of playing as most players are in Ireland and the Philippines, which are uh, just people that are getting the most out of the game without having to pay that much. So what we're doing is going through everything um, and giving you guys insight on how to get most uh, most out of your grind and how to get you know how to get more currency from various uh, uh, facets of the video game itself. Uh, and a number of that has been trophies, achievements, but also just uh, three starring levels and going back and replaying levels after you unlocked pro modes, playing those again for more element uh, tech points and catalysts as well. Yeah. So, last time we left off upgrading the APG, level 4, that's done. Yep. Um, then the science lab, we finally finished maxing out Levitate, which yeah, is going to be huge. Level 5. So. Yeah, that, uh, that gives us an extra 2 seconds yep. to duration. It's a total of 7 now, which yeah. is huge for perfect hypers. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's going to be great. Especially just staying alive if you use it defensively. Yeah. But, um, and we also upgraded our armor, which is... Also amazing because it's yeah. gonna keep us alive. So we're not gonna be able to upgrade the armor until we get the um, engineering room to level two, and the way that we're gonna do that is by getting to a player level of ten. Yeah. So that's probably gonna be in a stream or two from now, depending on how uh, well we uh, unlock achievements. Yeah. And so before we begin, I'm gonna go to the engineering room and launch this probe, and see if that gives us anything. Use some catalyst, like buttload of catalyst. Ah, yeah. that's all right. So, uh, on this account, we're at level 7 now, which is kind of the slowdown point for leveling up. Uh, usually, it's a pretty good idea to get the EXP doubler somehow, mm -hmm. uh, just to hurry up that curve so that you can get to level 10 and get level 2 uh, rooms faster. Um, but so, like, if you want a monthly trophy or if you buy some catalyst, you can get the XP doubler, which is just super helpful for getting all the other content in the game. Yeah, a little more difficult to hold on to those uh, monthly trophies because there's so much of a uh, time span involved. Yeah. But those are uh, concentrated with rewarding you with Catalyst, which is our hard currency. Kind of, mm -hmm. you can use it in place of the the first two and tech points. Uh, you get weekly. That's what you use to upgrade all your weapons and your items and everything, uh, including those rooms. Uh, daily is elements. That's your bread and butter. Recharge your weapons, and you can use it to bet against your friends. And those we give out daily. So actually. Uh, before the stream, I jumped in this profile, and I believe we got like an extra 250 tech points from uh, a weekly challenge or a weekly trophy. Yeah. So let's see. Can we. What do you want to do next? Do you want to just max out uh, shield? Yeah. As fast as possible. We should probably start if we can level five APG. Yeah. Okay. Leveling up guns is always good because it just you can be a lot more aggressive and not have to be as defensive. Oh, we have enough. Okay. So that will give us. A bigger magazine, thank God. And uh, well, so we already got the. Oh wait, magazine. we are level four. Oh right, so we, we have we're going to level five, which is a nice. fifteen percent damage increase. Just straight up, your bullets do fifteen percent more damage. And then headshots as and well. And then you also get an additional uh, one to your headshot multiplier. So instead of four times damage, you deal five times damage with the APG chem here. Awesome, and we also get more melee damage when we get into those bouts. Yep. So all right, I'm going to start this upgrade. Keep it going in the background. I mean, the shield's at a pretty low level. Maybe we can jump into be an upgrade. Close. It'll be very close. Ah, yeah. oh, almost. By the time we, by the time we uh, get back from this next playthrough, we'll have enough for that for yeah. sure. And then engineering, we'll just have to wait until we get to player level ten. Yep. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump into our next level. Um, last uh, Tuesday, we did uh, our Colossus <laughs> battle, and it was great. We we yeah. we did it the first time, but then we were testing our limits and loadout. With our um, uh, by trying to beat on psychotic, which we, I, I want to keep Did trying. Not go super I want great. I want to see what the bare minimum is in order to get past it on psychotic. But for now, we're going to jump close. into the next level, which is bridging the past. So I'm going to jump in, and if you have been following along, you probably notice a great difference in 
uh, my ability to get perfect levitates a lot, a lot easier, as well as just being able to smoke fools with a higher ammo capacity in my APG, which is going to be super helpful. But what we're going to try to concentrate on here is just getting through it, uh, not dying, and, and achieving three stars so we can unlock uh, the pro modes. Yeah. I don't want to use that. So I'm going to switch weapons. Those my screen indicators. So like Johnny was saying, with the new upgraded weapons and hypers that we got, uh, the last level we played we got about 30,000 points. I think Johnny will probably be able to break 60,000 without a problem on this level, just because we now have easier perfect hypers, which are huge score bonuses, and yeah. higher magazine clip, which is awesome. Bring it on. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Bridging the pass is great. Um, a little more difficult when you're playing in harder, harder difficulties because you encounter a lot of enemies ah, that uh, that are, have helmets on. They're a little beefier, so a little more difficult to take out. But when you play on like maybe intense or what I'm doing now, which is normal, you can get so many head, in air headshots. Yeah, there he is. The big thing is when you're using your hyper, if you levitate a guy who's already jumping, you'll still get the in-air bonus, but if you just levitate a guy, you won't get the in-air bonus. All right, yeah, we're on a good track here. Yeah. And keep in mind, if you um, are having trouble getting these, um, reaching these scores, then definitely try playing on harder difficulties because you do get more points for everything that you do. So as you get better weapons and better uh, skill level, it'll work out better for high scores. If you're having a little bit of trouble getting high scores though, you can play on normal, get used to everything uh, with lower health, and then basically psychotic is just two times the amount of score. So if you see Johnny or I, we have uh, usually around over 100,000 points, uh, over 200,000 on some levels. Uh, so basically, for normal, if you're at 100,000 points, that means you can get to 200,000 on Psychotic. Or if you're at 50,000 on normal, you can get to 100,000, which is that like the start of the upper echelon of scores that we're seeing right now. Aha. Yeah, see, I would definitely not have been able to kill that guy if we didn't have that upgrade. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? We got three left, or we got two left. We got two left. So one of the things to be aware of when you're playing through is when you're getting close to the end of a wave, there's fewer and fewer guys on screen. Try to make sure you hyper when there's three guys, because otherwise you won't be able to get that perfect hyper bonus, which just is another double uh, of your score bonus. As you saw, Johnny caught both those guys in the air, which is huge, and then finished off the perfect hyper for a huge score bonus. Yep, and there we are. Now I just gotta stay alive. Booyah. No, I was hoping oh. to get that dude in there. I saw that. Yeah. That's yeah, alright. I got the dust. Hmm. Hmm. And we actually, we, we streamed uh, gameplay this encounter a couple of weeks ago with our level designer, Ben. So we added a whole bunch of upgrades to this encounter from the last update in our Ireland and um, Philippines release build. Alright, come on. Scraggle rock! Let's do it! Bam! And in your face. So, if you notice for score 2, Johnny is always zooming on enemies. That's really important because he's using the APG, which is a precision weapon. It also, just for any weapon, always zooming is very, very important. Just a simple quick flick, you zoom on a guy. Mm -hmm. And if you kill a guy, you can zoom on another one really fast without zooming out. So you can chain snipe really quickly. All right, I think I got no, it's two, uh, again. two again. Yeah, that's all right. We still get the cooldown at least. Yeah. If you if you get one enemy, you get 25, 50, and 75 as as an increment. So it's actually just a flat second amount, which also gets upgraded. So I think upgrade four increases it from four seconds per kill to five seconds per kill. Oh, nice. So, so what happens is your cooldown's at 20 seconds. And then per kill, you can reduce it by five seconds each at level five. So you can bring your hyper cooldown to a total of five seconds, which is awesome. So for multi-kills, like kind of going into it pretty hardcore, 
For multi kills, you have three seconds. So if you have a five second cooldown, you can potentially only kill one enemy before hypering again yeah. and continuing your multi kill. But usually it takes about two enemies that you have to kill until you can hyper again. And if you're constantly hypering and getting perfect hypers, you're getting really high scores, which is awesome. All right, now I think I got three. Yeah. There you go. Don't speak too soon. And with nice. that time bonus, booyah. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice if you ever follow Johnny and I and, like, stock our profiles, we have some of the worst accuracy ratings in the game. I think... We just kind of tap on the screen randomly and just get a little bored. Where, where are you at? I'm at like 41, 38% or something like I that. I'm like just a little higher than that. Okay. Because I see how you and Timmy play and you guys go like, you always, it's a little We like different. to get our APM. It's like StarCraft. You see the guys who are just randomly microing everywhere. Uh, Timmy and I will just zoom in and out on the screen super fast and start <laughs> shooting and just tapping everywhere. Just getting ready for the fight. I do. Yeah, I do that a lot. Man, I want to play StarCraft again. Like, old school StarCraft? Okay. Old school. I tried playing 2 in the beta, like, uh, several years ago, and I, like, knew exactly yeah. what I needed to do to get yeah. back to where I was when I was first playing that game. Uh, it takes so long and to I get was, back uh, Yeah, I know. And I, oh, I played, like, I think I played, like, five games on a shitty connection yeah. and just got crushed. And it was all, like, yeah. big game hunters maps, you know? Like, I was okay. like, where's my fastest map? Yeah. You know? But, um... So, yeah, I don't know which one you wanted to do next. Uh, now that we have... Oh, now we have a 1,000. Cool. Yeah, so, in, in addition to getting uh, tech points for getting one, two, three stars, and then more for hardcore and psychotic, yeah. we got a bunch for achievements. And yep. um, we got a bunch of headshots, we did some killing sprees, and it's everything from skill-based things like headshots or uh, grindy things like time, time play and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. you can see that uh, these uh, don't really have a ceiling, uh, at least not immediately, so you can continue again more. I still haven't hit the ceiling. I know. I've been playing for a really long time. Yeah, the only, yeah, I hit the player level ceiling before I did anything else. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, with the trophies and all that jazz, you uh, you get a lot of currency. So now we're going to spend some of that currency on upgrading our shield so we don't die later when we try to beat the Colossus again. Mm -hmm. And again, we have to wait. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's your call. You can do whatever you want. Okay. We could go back for the Colossus. I want to try that guy. Or we could do something more realistic. All right, let's try the Colossus. All right, <laughs> Colossus. Is. Colossus psychotic. psychotic. Let's see if we can do it. I think you can do it. I'm going to get far further than we did before. Yeah, well, I died in the first in, like environment. No. Yeah, like, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even move <laughs> like forward. Instantly. I just got there. I was like, God damn. Yeah. Uh, Are your um, Colossus changes in the, in the in the next build? There will be a lot of Colossus changes in this upcoming build. Yeah, just minor improvements to make him a little bit more fun to fight, uh, a little bit less health. Uh, Oh my god. I know. That damage increase is going to be super helpful next level. I almost still got that because of the upgrade though, which is awesome. At least I got that little two shield. Yeah. Come on, we have to get at least past the first wave. Yeah. That mortar has so much health. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yep. And. Yeah. Alright, no. Oh, that was close. So it's gonna be 10 seconds now for that next hyper, but this guy's gonna melee, which means nobody else is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then shoots. everyone just shoots you. That's actually. If they were a full fledged AI the way that I want them to be, they would fake out melee runs <laughs> in those terrible moments and then just duck out there and just go. volley fire and like four mortars just pop open from behind the wall that you didn't even put there in the first place. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting this perfect hyper, but I'm not dying this wave. Nice. Ah, so much more ammo. Yeah. So the APG is really nice. It just has a ton of ammo, the most for any precision weapon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use our handy little health back for 25,000 element and just go for it. And now it's Colossus time. Colossus time. He's going to be big and yellow. So we don't have a fully upgraded shield and he just turret fires to kind of cover the enemies as they get introduced. That turret fire might kill me. That's okay. It's just your level. 
Yeah. <laughs> so it's really, really important to catch the projectiles in the shield hitbox. And uh, projectiles move a lot faster on... Oh, yeah. Psychotic. So it's a little bit more difficult to manage the Colossus. Mm -hmm. Just because when he starts attacking, he really starts attacking. And remember, we're playing on uh, Psychotic, so yes, it's hard as hell, but uh, it also means that we have a uh, much more difficult... I think he's going to throw a rock at you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a much more difficult so much uh, score threshold that you need to pass, because, I mean, you can survive and be fine, but if you don't get the score, you're, you're you know, you just survive the hellhole with no, nothing to gain, more or less. So, make sure you get the scores, and the easiest way to do it with the Colossus is just when he when you finish him off on his health bar and it happens three times and um, just get him in the head just like shoot make sure you end it with a headshot before he, he uh, bull rushes you just so that you can actually get through the uh, get through the encounter and not having to worry about achieving the time score just being able to kind of get all that that's all right not get all the points damage. as many points as you can also yeah I usually try to go for the turrets just so I can at least bring them down to one you know yeah. Hypers are very important for this, too. Uh, I probably shouldn't have used it right there, but no, it's that's working good. out fine for me. I'm also just going to try to shoot him in the head, like Johnny was saying, instead of shooting his rock to get that nice little 4,000 point bump. And I'm not going to be able to kill that. And there it goes. Which, it just completely blows out your shield. And on Psychotic, uh, because I knocked him all the way down on his health bar, uh, there's no other guys, but normally there would be other enemies to kind of follow up on that attack, so it's not ideal to let him throw the piece of rubble. That's, I'd say you spend it. Oh, you're going to skip it? Look at that. Uh, That's it's... all you needed. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> if I die by, like, a single bullet, I will cry. Uh, I'm just going for the perfect hyper. I wonder how... I think when we switch over for our challenge, I'm going to see how our rubble goes. So as you can see, uh, that one piston is smoking right now, which is really good for me, because I'm going to take some damage here, but if I can kill it, not quite. Maybe? Not sure. You got a guy coming. Yeah. So right. Travis used that perfect levitate, or levitate in general, to It's going to be perfect. That guy. Nice. Well done. And he used it defensively to kind of... Uh, cover his own flank. Yeah, I'm really man. trying to get that piston down. Because if I can get that piston down and kill the gunner, this is extremely doable on Psychotic. Yeah. That's very really true. It's just the double turrets is you need to shield perfectly to get through the level without issue. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, sure there's somebody. There you go. There it is. Alright, done this, so. is, this is happening. As long as I don't completely mess up. Yeah, so you have a little bit of time in between. Now, Psychotic, you have a lot less, but yeah. uh, if you're playing on casual, normal, and intense, you can definitely uh, sneak in some, uh, some shots. And it's great if you get rid of the turrets early, especially on these higher difficulties, because all you got to really worry about it is the rock that he's throwing, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and the rock is kind of nice, because if you destroy it, which isn't terribly difficult on... Alright, I'm just going to eat this. Knock him down. There you go. So when you bring down one of his health pips, the other guys run off screen, so you don't have to deal with them because he's just going to bull rush and otherwise he would run over them so they don't want to get run over. So they're just kind of chilling in the background. <laughs> just reload out of habit after the bull rush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boom. And so as you can see I also have the psychotic score. And you might be able to snag some of that bonus if you can kill these dudes quick enough. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. <gasps> Sniper Ooh, bullets, damn! Right. Damn! <laughs> damn. That would have gotten you down you. so that might badly. Have actually killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that sniper. Uh, he's a tricky little, tricky little guy. All right, who's getting? All right, mm. nobody wants to attack me. 
There we go. There he is. There's that sniper. Yeah. This guy's a jerk. Don't let him attack you, because he hurts He's a lot. Yeah, the levitate's huge. Yeah. I mean, that's basically the main difference between the last time we tried this. Yeah. Being able to string them together is this huge. Yeah. You're just going to take them out as fast as possible. Can you get that bonus? No, I'm not going to get that bonus. <laughs> it's, like, impossible with this gun. Even if it was level 5, it's just not strong It'd enough to pretty, kill it yeah. that fast. It's close, but it's just not quite there. Oh, they did a little thing there for you. Really well played there on there we part. go. And come on. And, and, and. Right. Honestly, I think it's more the extra ammo. Yeah, the ammo helps a lot too. And there he goes. And there's all my crystals. <laughs> the gunner flies in the air too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nicely done. Sweet. Nicely done. Uh, so as you can see, levitate level five. That was and APG to level 4. Those were the two biggest jumps that we got. Boom, dude. Sweet. And you got that 500 XP, because the higher difficulty you play on, uh, the more XP you get out of your grind, which is a, yeah. a flat rate. But what'd you get? You get total kills and player level. Kills. Nice. Yeah. So that's a good chunk of tech points. So that's... Yeah. So is that centered? Kind of. Something like 800 tech points for the level, and then 155 for the achievements. I'm gonna raise that. So we got about... 950 to 1,000, somewhere in that range, tech points. Nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another one. I want to do 1A. 1A on Psychotic? I think we actually did it on Psychotic. But, uh, There's definitely do it a on couple. Yeah. Oh, Hardcore, I think, is open on... Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, we're starting to get Bam. a decent amount of tech points, and we're uh, upgrading everything we can. Also, super handy trick that Johnny just did. Oh, yeah. If, if you, you just wanna... swipe down a little bit uh, over the loadout bar, it'll bring up the recharge all options so you don't have to recharge them individually. Uh, so below deck is, let's do that next Tuesday. Yeah. And bridging the pass, doing those, doing those. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's make it nice and pretty. All right. Hardcore. We're completionists. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, so, uh, hardcore mode is... Alright, so quick breakdown. Uh, casual, super easy. Normal is pretty easy. Intense is a significant jump. But pretty manageable. But then when you unlock the pro modes by three-starring, hardcore is a little more difficult than intense, but you have a separate victory condition that you have to achieve in addition to the score. And psychotic is just us being mean. Yeah. So, uh, hardcore, I'm going to jump in here. So I need to get a certain score, um, but I need to get five perfect typers. Which is pretty essential if you want to get that score, um, or achieve that score in 1A, just because you're, all you are are killing uh, bugs. It's not... the score threshold is what pretty is it high. Like? What is it? 25,000 for Psychotic? Oh, that's totally manageable. Yeah. So, just by playing on Psychotic, uh, most players get somewhere between five to 9,000 on... Uh, Uncertain Morning, their first playthrough, which is on normal difficulty. Mm -hmm. Then you add in the Psychotic Multiplier, so that's 10,000 to 18,000. And Wait then these dudes to pop up behind the rocks. Get once them up. you get uh, add in hypers, it's just perfect hypers on these bugs is not very difficult. So you can really get higher scores on that. Yeah. Yes. I nice. snuck it in there. Yes. Perfect wave. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna at this point I'm gonna wait for the a couple of these fools to jump up in the air. They're actually not call, called fools, but called cool. larvae. Yes. Yeah. They're just their little bug guys. Necessary. So as you can see, Johnny didn't get that guy who jumped in the air first because he was worth more points. Truth. And when you're going for perfect hypers, it's super valuable to kill the highest score person last because multi kills give you 50% per kill. So, because he killed him last, he got an additional 50%, and since it was worth 100% more, that's a lot more points that way. Ooh, nice perfect hyper here. That's, yeah, that's usually my technique there. Yeah. And then I kill one of these guys, and then I, yeah, move on over, yeah, move on over, <laughs> and then, okay, they're both. I can never tell exactly. 
So as you play levels more and more, you'll get a better feel for when guys are going to pop out and where they're going to come from. So as you can see, Johnny and I are kind of talking like strategy for when you want to kill certain guys and how long you want them to be alive before shooting them. Uh, but the thing with it is the enemies are completely emergent. They're not going to do the same thing two times in a row. They'll spawn from the same areas, but they're not going to run the same actions. So you have a basic idea for what you want to do, but you have to improvise as the level goes through. So no two playthroughs will be the same, but if you have the same general skills, you can apply it to all the different situations. Very true. And that's the best way I can connect those two encounters. Usually I try to get these guys in the air. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's uh, no, it's not you. <laughs> Jinxed it. Get <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that felt good. <laughs> That's why I love that you get those weird, uh, you get those really super lucky moments. Damn it! Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> so, Aha! one of the other things uh, that you can tell for this one is getting the highest score on uh, Uncertain Morning actually requires you to be pretty patient because it's so easy to kill these guys really fast. But if you're killing them too fast, you're kind of wasting perfect hypers. Ideally, you want to kill two enemies in between hypers if you're playing absolutely perfectly and mostly just going for score. But on Uncertain Morning, it's really easy to kill four or five guys in between hypers. So, for high scores, definitely try to kill two enemies in that hyper. There you go. <laughs> yes, nice. <laughs> in our pickup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I think it's because ever since we made that huge tutorial change yeah. and added pro options where you don't have to go through all of this, this, the story bits that you've you know done so many times. Yeah, I think one A is like my favorite encounter now. <laughs> like I think it's so much fun because nice. you can play patiently and yeah. it's not such a toss up based on you know whether you're gonna encounter a dude with a helmet. Although we should totally do that with our larvae. <laughs> Let's give them little bug helmets. Yeah, that'd be so cool. It's cool. Right nice. fields will start riding them into battle. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's just like quadruple their size. Yeah. Make the run fields a little smaller, but with big head mode on. <laughs> <laughs> I like where this is going. It's going to be money. Yes. That's why I'm the design lead administrator. <laughs> 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 All right. All oh, right. I need, a, I need to challenge you and, and break yeah. the spree. All right. I need to break the spree. All right, let me, let me go off screen. I'm gonna log into my account with all the goodies. So, okay. actually, let me see. Yeah, by the time we get back on Tuesday, we'll, we'll definitely have this at level five, which would be yeah. huge. Then we can debate where, where we want to take it from there. Yeah. Uh, Shield, we'll just keep doing that. Uh, and then, yeah, that will still have to wait until we get to player level 10. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm gonna s jump into my profile and move this. And try right. to think of a, a way, a challenge parameter actually cool i was actually thinking about doing 1a but it just does it there just do it. yeah let's see so excited for football to be back everyone uh, watching the stream so much closer get to ready it. i'm hoping for fail mary 2.0 today yeah it's seahawks versus packers do you want the packers to win no i just want fail mary 2.0 do you remember that? Was that when they, the they caught the ball refs. and then, oh, right. And then the Packers had an interception, but they called it a touchdown interception yeah. for the Seahawks. Th didn't also, he catch sorry, him Timmy. and the ball? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. I'm not sorry, Timmy. I want, <laughs> see, what, what, <laughs> what I need to happen tonight, and if you're a Packers fan, I'm so sorry, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm a born and raised in Chicago, so suck it, cheeseheads. Um, but we're playing fantasy football in the in the office and Timmy mm -hmm. has Jordy Nelson. And Jordy Nelson is a crazy, crazy good receiver. Yeah, he is. But I need the Packers to just do so bad. Great if they win. Right, just no Jordy Nelson. Just, just no Jordy Nelson and no Randall Cobb. Because that's that's who I'm up against in my little league as uh, well. Okay. But, you know, pass it to Lacey. <laughs> pass it to Lacey? That, okay. Yeah. Or, you know, or just interceptions and who do they have now? They don't have James Jones anymore, right? All right, we're going too far into football. Yeah, probably. Okay, yeah, <laughs> video games, right? Here video we go. Games. Um, so my ch my challenge, 
Alright. Hmm. Okay. Okay. No. Double tap. Okay. I'm just gonna... If you nerf your loadout, because you find yourself liking one particular weapon, you'll use a lot less element. Yeah. So if you're like, if you know you're gonna survive and you have a, a d dust shield, then use this one. Use your human shield. And same with e every other weapon. Like, use a, a less expensive weapon if you already know that you're gonna uh, concentrate on one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let me jump in. Double tap, bridging the past. Okay. Casual. Casual? Yes. Speed run or score run? Score run. On casual? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, no. All right. Mm. <laughs> yes. I mean, no, go for it. No, because right. I, I want to do like in air, head uh, in air headshots sure. with the shoddy. All right. Um, yes, let's do it. Oh, okay. there you are. Great. Great, great idea, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge him to the one to be that fair, he has that's the on the run. old version. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. No, sorry. I like uh, that. We still have that in there? Yeah, we'll have it in there until we. I don't get to do that, unfortunately. Oh, Tim said Jarrett Boykin. Jarrett Boy. Oh yeah, Boykin. I don't know. He's all right. And then they have uh, Jarrett Finley Michael. Not so much. <laughs> and Starks James. <laughs> Stark Sparks James. So little help, it's great. Ah, you oh, damn no. wall! <laughs> <laughs> you damn wall. And uh, that's what I say. Playing video games. Damn, this thing is beastly. This score is so low, too. <laughs> so, for casual, well, you get more points for harder difficulties. Casual, you get about 50% of what you get on normal, I think. It might even be lower. Yeah, it probably is. No, nah, it is 50. Yeah, so I can still get headshots. Skip, skip. Yo. So happy we have headshots on all the guns. Okay. I don't know. Get oh, it! That's so close. Suck it! Uh, I'll wait. And bebop. He's a little far. <laughs> Even for a casual, that's a little I know. Boom. Mm. Nice. Ah. Hey, what? Wrong dude. <laughs> so the important thing still for getting a high score on these levels, even with a shotgun, is always get headshots by zooming, always get perfect hypers, and also for casual playing fast. Pretty easy, but still important for the time bonus. I'm gonna go for this guy. Suck it. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, uh, 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 I hope you were jumping. Skipping through. And come on, higher jump, higher jump. There you go. So yeah, send it are worth about the same as a jumping red field. I don't know what I just did there. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of tabs and you didn't take damage, so that's all good. Sometimes when I'm just like moving over a hill or something, I just like freak out and I'm like, what the fuck did I just press? <laughs> Nope. Nope. I see you. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I lost it. That's all right. That'll be a checkpoint here. Which I can use. Get that time bonus. I'll probably just end up getting 30 anyway. It is casual. You can just kill everything, like, instantly. Yeah, I know. A level 5 double tap will just destroy anything, whether you're zoomed or not, on casual. As long as it's close range. Yes, very true. 
Though it is nice, it has a tighter spread uh, when you do zoom, so it is still a decently effective long range. It won't be the greatest weapon to use, but if you're just upgrading your shotgun, it is still worth it because you can still take stuff out. It's just going to take you a little longer. I love you, Seekers, for helping me. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I just totally think so. Uh, <laughs> gotta play slow. No, here we go. Gotta play real slow. Let's see if I can shoot off some backpacks. That is the other nice thing about the um, shotgun. You will randomly destroy a lot of armor, which gives you bonus points. Yes. So, that's always good. Whatever. 34,000 40%. 30%. Yes. Okay. 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 You're getting get in the position, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. Everything was fully charged, right? Uh Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what was it? I didn't see the final. Uh Thirty-four thousand eight hundred. Oh wait, I'll be able to catch it on the live stream actually because we're like a little ahead. Oh, nice! Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. It's like forty-eight thousand something. Forty-five two four one. Forty-five. Forty-five. Okay. Forty-five two four one. Do it. Uh. Mm. Enjoy the solo as well. Actually, the one that we're going to do on Tuesday is really fun for in your headshots. Um, whatever the. What's it called? What's H called? Uh, under the bridge. Under the bridge? Yeah. Okay. Bridge down under? <laughs> so I'm going to borrow a map name. Below deck. I believe. Below deck sounds right. That's good. It's a <laughs> All right, not the greatest start. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So when you're going for score, it's important to end your perfect levitate with the most uh, beefy uh, enemy, and in most cases it's, it's the dust, but especially on casual. But um, it's better to sometimes get like a an in air rent field at the as your third kill on your perfect levitate versus uh, even a, a, a regular dust uh, ultra. And then the most goofy character of all outside of the Colossus and Dust Superior are your dust mortars, yeah. especially if you shoot their backpacks off. Yeah, just point for it. And all the while we are grinding for elements. I think that's what we should do after the shield is get a whole bunch of luck. Why all the assignment? <laughs> I only wanted those two. That's guys. good though, they're worth more points. No, I know, but they were too far <laughs> away. There's two snipers who I thought I was gonna get. Too distracted by your fail, fail Mary. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ah. You got one. I got two. Yeah, Travis mentioned that I was, when I was playing through uh, Uncertain Morning, but you, you kind of got to get used to when and where enemies will move to and from. Um, because there he had an opportunity to get some um, clear headshots. I think he pulled them off anyway because he has the, the shotgun. But when you know that after you kill a certain amount of enemies and you're gonna, they're going to retreat, then their backs are going to be to you. And if you have like a sniper rifle, it's a, lot, it's a little more difficult to get that headshot from behind. Only have so much collision to, to work with. Bad. 
It's all right. You can get that. Ah. That doesn't take any account time, though. No. Yeah. All right. This could be it. I need to have a really good last wave. Do, do, do. Played a little bit too fast right there. I should have killed Gez a little bit slower. You got your nine now. Nice. Ah, oh. too beefy. Damn it. There's too far away. <laughs> Screwed me up last yeah. time too. Yeah, no, this is it. Uh, this is depressing. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Uh, four two. Teardrops. <laughs> so whatever, I'll take my Captain Owens trophy. Yeah, yeah, there's always <laughs> <laughs> shut up. There's always the actual high scores. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Buy me a cupcake. <laughs> Suck it. Right. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's okay. I got more element. Yeah. Oh, wow. Such an odd number. <laughs> You're like, well, okay. It's like when I save up that much money, I'm going to give my own medal. Do you have an element doubler equipped? Uh, that's just no. a weird... How do you oh, no. Well, since I have level 5 luck... Right. You got a bunch in the air and they're each worth forty five hundred. Okay. So sure. I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. Hey, there you go. And uh, we're playing Tim, on, casual. on casual. Casual, man. Tim. So we have two Tims. There's Timmy and then there's the wizard. Mm -hmm. Timmy's really good at the game. Uh he's number two right the now. The wizard gives you catalyst if you beat him in a challenge, which is not very <laughs> difficult. I'll give it to try. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of, I mean, I'm following everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, Johnny has a lot of, or follows a lot of people. I don't know how many friends he has. <laughs> Not many. In, in, in <laughs> oh, relation. wait, who's that guy? Who's the I other don't know, but I, I don't know, but I don't think he's following me yet. Because it, uh, I do, I, I am a fan of uh, the bear uh, icon. Yeah. I'd probably skip that. All right. All right. Well, next week we'll uh, continue on with our um, mm -hmm. player, um, what was it, Two Chilling? Kuchelane. 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 Google him if you don't know what it's a reference to. He's pretty badass. Okay. I will. <laughs> Hound of Kulane. Ooh, he does look badass. Yeah, no. He's ridiculous. I don't know if you... Yeah, nobody can see it, but definitely Google him. <laughs> yeah, nobody can see what I'm looking at. Yeah. Why is this a random picture? All right, never mind. He's Google. like... I don't know. Some people, like some historians, uh, call him like the Irish Achilles. He's just a mythological character uh, from Irish mythology, and he's just a badass. He does look total badass. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue on with that player profile, uh, what we're going to be doing below deck, which is pretty much the halfway point of Midnight Star, and uh, the second in four encounters of your uh, Charlie's journey across this uh, bridge uh, in order to get to the transmitter array, which will be made clear when we get there. Um, so we'll continue with that, but if you have any questions, hit us up on uh, Twitter or in-game if you are in Ireland and the Philippines, and our handles are right below us. And, um, yeah, but if, if anything, go on their forums, uh, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, anything that you need, uh, we'll respond, and feel free to say anything in the chat as well. But um, we'll be back on Tuesday mm -hmm. at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard, or Pacific, yeah, Pacific Standard Time, and we usually stream every Tuesday and Thursday, probably bump up the frequency once we go global, which will be pretty soon. So, uh, again, I've been Johnny. I'm Travis. And, uh, yeah.